Good afternoon. I'm Shane Hunkel along with Ryan, and this is MBA Now. Uh, the first topic we're going to talk about today is the winners and losers of free agency. Uh, what are your thoughts about that? All right. Well, uh, obviously, as a Thunder fan, I'd like to call uh, the Thunder losers of the uh, whole free agency business, losing out on Paul George and, and uh, Jeremy Grant. But, I mean, they got uh, so many first-round picks for Paul George, and I think that they are going to be in a great place for rebuilding. We don't even know what they're going to get for Russell Westbrook yet. So I, although I'd like to say that they're losers, they might actually be winners in the long run. And then um, as far as like clear-cut winners, uh, it's hard to deny that the Los Angeles Clippers are going to be a clear-cut winner. Not only getting Kawhi Leonard, but Paul George. I think they're going from a mid-tier West team to a first or a second seed, in my opinion. How about you? What do you think? Yeah, definitely. Uh I think the whole Western Conference as a whole uh, is the winner of the free agency. They have so many teams that can contend for the title, not just um, mediocre teams anymore. I mean, it was tough last year, but it got somehow got even better this year. Um, there's a lot of teams, I think maybe five teams could win the championship that's in the mm-hmm. Western Conference. Uh, losers, maybe the Thunder, because Paul George was the one that requested the trade from the Thunder after he signed that big contract with them last year, mm-hmm. which is kind of disappointing for Oklahoma City. They're going to have to trade to Westbrook. They're in full rebuild mode. Um, I see a team like the Minnesota Timberwolves coming up that need a point guard. Uh, that would pair with uh, Carthy Towns and Andrew Wiggins very well. Uh, that maybe will get them over the hump to the playoffs. Um, last thing we're going to talk about is what's your surprise team uh, next year? Who's going to be the team to surprise? Team to surprise. Um, well, that's a tough one. I, I think that... Um, First off, Miami. They they definitely they missed the playoffs, and this is going under the assumption that they're going to get Russell Westbrook. I mean, people like everybody's looking at players during free agency. We cannot sleep on what is going on with the coaching staff. Eric Spolstra has proven time and time again that he is an elite coach, and I think that although Jimmy Butler and Russell Westbrook may be two, we'll say very emotional players. Uh, I think that he can really make it work, and they're probably going to end up maybe in even the fourth seed. I think coming out of not being in, in the uh, playoffs. Yeah, my uh, surprise team would probably be the Utah Jazz. Trade for Mike Conley. Uh, Don Mitchell uh, is a rising star. He's probably going to be a superstar. Uh, I think they're going to be a surprise team. Maybe can make a deep Western Conference uh, right in the playoffs. Uh, thank you for watching today. Along with Ryan, I'm Shane Holcomb. This is NBA Now. Have a good night.